Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here again with another card layout. This is number 24 in the series, and uh, it's going to be this Just For You card with a few paper strips and a couple of embellishments. First up, the layout. That's going to be this one here. And then just to let you know, I'm using the House of Roses paper pad from Stamperia. I would show you the pad, but I've chopped it all to bits, so... I just got to show you the cover. Here are some of the dies I'm going to be using. So there's a circle, a sentiment, some flowers, and a strip of florals from Sizzix. Various bits of scraps of paper, plus these larger swatches from the paper pad that I just mentioned. And I will start cropping those down. I'm going to be using a background panel on this card, although that's not shown in the layout. And of course, if you would like the layout together with measurements, please do head over to my blog, gentlemancrafter.com. I will leave a link in the description below the video on YouTube. Now the strips are half inch wide, uh, so I don't actually have half inch on my trimmer, so I'm kind of guesstimating this based on the metal strip that's there. Could use a ruler and a craft knife, but this was just quicker. Kinda. Another card that's great to use up scraps of card too. Because you'll only need lots of thin strips. So even if you've got lots of different patterned papers, that would look cool too. Now I'm working on some adorable scorable card. I wanted to change up from the white and black that I've been using so far. So I've chosen a nice light blue that kind of coordinates with the blues within the papers that I'm using. Because it's a non-porous surface, it does take a little bit longer for the book binding glue to work. But again, because it's not a really wet PVA, it sticks incredibly well and doesn't buckle either the cardstock or the paper. Now I'm just using the smaller of the circular dies to cut out this clock sentiment uh, not sentiment, uh, embellishment, yeah that'll do, um, which was from the paper pad that I mentioned and then I'm just sorting out what I'm going to be cutting from the other bits of papers and dies. Just a circle of white to go behind the clock face, cutting the sentiment from black and then I'm going to cut the floral strip from white and a sort of dusky pink that goes with the pinks in the papers that I chose. By the way, my uh, die cutting machine doesn't work at light speed. I have been editing this, as uh, hopefully you'll tell, otherwise you'll be getting very jealous about the speed at which I'm working using my pokey tool to pop out all the little bits which get swept onto the floor. I really should invest in some kind of desktop hoover or vacuum or maybe a bin. <laughs> what do you do? Are you a tidy crafter or are you just uh, throw it everywhere while you're in the creative process and then sort it out later? Let me know in the comments below the video. Just doing a little bit of snipping on the second die cut of that floral strip, taking away both ends and the little swirly bits. Basically this is going to get layered onto the white, so you can see that there. How are you getting on with this card layout series? Are they helping? Are they not helping? Have you been inspired? Have you not been inspired? Are there any techniques you'd like to see? I've done a lot of die cutting recently. I'm planning on doing a fair few with stamping in the near future and uh, maybe even bringing in some old favourites like quilling. But we shall see how we get on. Now, earlier on, I did actually die cut one of these because I wanted to apply some... Um, what's the word, glaze, that's the word, um, to make it have a bit of a shine so it stood out from the matte paper. 
kind of worked. Looks alright, doesn't it? That was the pin flare glaze, by the way. It honks to high heaven, but it's really good. Especially on decoupage. Okay, let's start getting things going on with these strips. Now, because there are six strips, I knew that my centre was going to be in the centre of the card. So I used this Tim Holtz ideology ruler, which has a sort of centering mark. So you've got the zero in the centre, and then the measurements off, off to either side. So I knew that it would be two inches either side, because I'm working with a six by four card. So that was fairly easy. And just marked it with a bit of pencil. A bit of pencil? Marked it with a pencil. And then I'm basically just starting to wing it with the measurements on the strips. The strips in the layout were longer than this, um, but because of the size of the card that are, paper that I had and the strip that I was working with, I'm just kind of winging it and saying, well, this one's longer than that one, and so on and so forth. I'm tearing them rather than cutting them, so it gives it a bit of a more rustic, shabby chic edge or finish. And I am leaving the tiniest of gaps between each piece of paper. Um, I highly edited that because that took quite a bit of time. I'm not sure you needed to see that six times to get the idea, but there you go. So there you go, it looks like random strips of wallpaper that are curling up at the bottom. Now my original plan was to have the floral strip vertical and then the clock at the bottom, but because these strips were not as long as the original plan, I decided to change it up. And I left this bit in at the triple speed that I usually go at because I didn't realise that my clock was sliding down and I just thought it was funny when I was editing it. Um, I don't know where it's off to, but clearly it's had enough. Um, anyway, so I cut an extra piece of the floral strip because I wanted to basically mirror the leaves that are on one end. So I chopped up what I'd already made, chopped off the little frilly bit, and then got myself this second piece and did the same chops. Now, as I was kind of adapting this, I did suddenly have an idea. And there is the moment that I had the idea, because I went, aha! The strip of wood or plank that I took off earlier would look good, or great even, behind this uh, landscape sentiment cluster. There you go, there's not a phrase you hear every day. So, as you can tell, this strip isn't in the original layout but you can add it if you feel that it would benefit your design. Yes, I think that looks good. Or at least that's what I was telling myself. What do you think? Do you think it worked out better? I was going to ask to strip or not to strip, but I'm pretty sure that that would get me classified as something else on YouTube. So I will not. Okay, so next up, I was just thinking about finishing this off, and I'd already chosen these little florals to be my embellishments of choice. So I cut some from blue cardstock, and then a few from some leftover scraps of the paper that I'd already used um, for another project. I'm also going to be using some of the Nouveau Drops. Duck Egg, I think that one was. Just purely because it works with the blue card in the background. So lots of little bits going on. So I just did three dots of glue at top and bottom and I'd like to say randomly chose the flowers 
but I kind of ended up actually deciding no, I was going to have three different types of flowers in each cluster. And trying to handle those with sausage fingers wasn't the easiest, but got there in the end. And then some of the Nouveau drops as floral centres. Making sure I didn't have any air bubbles by starting off on a separate piece of paper. And then a couple of blobs either end, not either end, top and bottom again. But kind of offsetting it from the floral clusters, if that makes sense. Well, it's video. You can see what I mean. And then um tiny little bit of bling, just a few Aurora Borealis adhesive gems to finish that off. And there you go. That is card layout number 24. There's a closer look at the strips and there's a closer look at the ex um, embellishment. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.